Leo. There is beauty and simplicity, so maybe you have to be simpler, uh, you know, uh, create simplicity in your life. Make, make your life simpler. And I think that's your editorial. Um, I don't know if you all saw that orb that just passed by. It was my um, smoke from my incense. Very interesting. You have ancestors around you, okay? So don't complicate things. I think you're into drama or you're in drama, not into drama. Nobody's into drama. Or yeah, there's people that are into drama. People that have drama want drama. They engage. So make your life simpler. Don't you know? Don't engage. See see where you're complicating things and don't complicate it. Okay. Green Tara, the Buddha of enlightenment, enlightened action. My soul transforms to every step. I do what my heart compels me to do. So this is healing your heart and this is about following your heart as well, okay? And this is about balancing out and being in alignment. Also, I think you need to like maybe drink green tea. Yeah. Be mindful. Green tea has a lot of uh, caffeine, possibly even more. More, I'm not sure uh, that... Uh, coffee has that may be a detoxification or something like that or eating more green bright green green vegetables lots of spinach like celery apples uh i don't know like ginger is what i'm sensing very interesting take a break a life's uh life a life's work not a season get off the treadmill a life's work not a season so taking a break okay Obviously, you're going round and round, and this has to do with the simplicity. Inner temple, devotion, tune into the portal of your heart. So this has to do about, you know, really focusing on your heart, okay? And not necessarily your mind. There's something that's going to be shown to you. Uh, there's going to be a couple of opportunities that are coming to you. I feel that this has to do with a job. doesn't have to be, or a position, or like... Um, uh, yeah, an opportunity, all right? And then breast renew, recharge. What does your body crave and and uh, need right now? So this is about resting, which is this about resting and getting off the treadmill. So you're super burned out, uh, you know, you need to rest, all right? And you need to focus, you need to balance, you need to do some yoga, exercise, but mostly rest. Buy yourself uh, an amethyst, for um, carnelian also, I have this beautiful carnelian and I just love it and it's very healing. So maybe some carnelian that uh, you need to get. Um, also uh, amethyst and and, crisp, and uh, rose crystal, okay? Trust the universe, so know that there's a divine, uh, divine path that you're on and then do the work, okay? This is not about doing the physical work of work, which it is, you're working too much, but this is about doing the inner work of healing your heart, of being fully aligned, of taking care of yourself, of resting, of drinking tea, of eating properly, of exercising, you know, and truly being fit in mind, spirit, and body, okay? And then you have here, night of summer, honorable, devoted, mature, warm-hearted, a romantic partner you can trust, excellent uh, advice that comes from the heart, getting involved in a cultural or creative endeavor. So there's someone coming in, um, that is like that or you are that person or you already have that person in your life Okay, and I'm sort of thinking that you already have that person in your life Solar plexus is also very active and very open as well as the heart of self-love forgiveness forgive yourself okay this is about huge love this is about self-love this is about uh you know uh, releasing okay all your emotions and then just starting to really calm the emotions all right you're leveling up uh in terms of or going up in position in terms of work or job And then you have here, Sarah, peace by ascension. Move into your true self, rise above the darkness. The light is here. Crown chakra activation and opening. And then you have the Holy Spirit, expect miracles. Remember that only love is real. Miracles will occur naturally. Spirit has your back, beautiful. This is also about, uh, you know, self-love, peace, prosperity, uh, harmony, 
and then uh, throat chakra mm -hmm. activation. So work on your chakras so you can enlighten them. And then you have into me, I see. So this is all about self-reflection and working on self and your inner self, mm -hmm. healing your heart, uh, all your chakras are being super activated. So there's some sort mm -hmm. of uh, ascension and leveling up that you're doing. Okay, this is absolutely beautiful. This is discipline. I can I can accomplish what I set my mind to be. So this is about setting your goals and understanding that you have the power to do whatever it is that you need to do. And then you have the rhythm of my breath directs the rhythm of my life. Yes, so this is about meditating. This is about voicing and speaking your existence into being, okay? And this is about really doing yoga and breathing and meditation. And then you have here, take a reality check. You know, reassess what you're doing. You might have some Capricorn in your chart. And that's about simplifying your life, okay? Which is what your fortune cookie came out with. Alrighty, so that concludes your uh, oracles. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, for my OGs, thank you. Family, friends, students uh, that are subscribers, thank you. And for your support. If you're new to the channel, thank you for coming help me grow my channel you know i feel i'm divinely guided to be you know giving out you know uh, messages so here we go there's some victory after a huge tower moment or after having to move out okay uh yeah going into a new endeavor setting your boundaries this is also a new partnership or new business Okay, releasing all toxicity. Someone might have ghosted you as well, or you ghosted someone. This is also about going inward, maybe, or coming out of being like in hermit mode, all right? There's a lot of inner conflict having to do with your power or a power struggle. You're looking into the future, but you weren't happy at all, or some there's some things that are not illuminated to you. You're not happy at all you know, having to do with a commitment, a higher position or some sort of hierarchy of some sort, maybe some contracts. There was a love offer or um, some sort of offer that was coming in or possibly an apology, okay? Or something having to do with work and collaboration. You're sitting in your power in terms of love or you're dealing with a water sign. Your third eye is highly open. Somebody walked away or you walked away from this love love offer or this like work, okay? Because it wasn't, uh, it wasn't reciprocal and there wasn't any communication or forward movement. You're trying to manifest, okay? Possibly some loyalty and some happiness, all right? And a wish fulfillment that was very uh, conflicting. There was some truth that came out. You want justice as well, possibly with this, whatever it is that happened. You're moving forward, okay? Moving forward into, this was this was fated and destined. There was some karma that played out. There might be a reconciliation or a change of position if this is, has to do with work. You might also be getting a new car, all right? You're leaving, you know, things are gonna speed up and you're not, you're leaving this energy of feeling left out in the cold or being regretful about something. Your third eye is fully activated and you can see when there's non-truths and when it hasn't been justice. This is huge. You're like, this is huge activation and opening up, okay? You can also see, because you're a seer, um, you know, uh, an endeavor that's going to be very profitable and very, uh, very victorious for you. Yeah, if you were struggling financially, I think you're coming out of it, but you have a lot of anxiety. So try to move that energy having to do with the past, past soulmate, past love. That was a wish fulfillment or you're trying to heal from that. This can also be some sort of siblings uh, that you've had some rivalry with. And that's all coming to an end and you're not going to see this as a lost opportunity anymore. Okay, you might have some children. 
Uh, there might be some travel or some communication or some, um, yeah, some communication that might be coming in. All right, having to do with like something that didn't go into fruition or didn't start, but someone might be coming back. All right, after not having a wish fulfillment and after not being happy, there is an offer that's going to be given. You might also have wanted to be pregnant or wanting wanting to um, maybe um, you know birth something, okay? Or it might be having an apology, having to do with children, or um, or an offer that was given. All right, you're still holding on to this, or someone's holding on to this, but there wasn't a partnership that manifested or that sort of terminated or something that happened in the past. Yeah, it was a huge ending and you surrendered to this, all right? You're moving forward, you're standing in your power, but you do need to rest. It looks like maybe you've rested a little bit more, but you feel like you're stuck and there was no justice. If you have some legal issues, maybe that as well. There was some deception to that that you could see clearly, all right? And there was some manipulation having to do with like lots of confusion in the past and choices having to do with love. You're no longer waiting for this commitment or this like love offer or this partnership. It can be a partnership at work and you're not feeling independent right now, but you're moving forward, okay? To try to build your stability that you think you don't have right now and you're maybe struggling financially, but I think you're gonna get stable because I think that there's this ending to the cycle that you're gonna be. You also probably need to study something, so make sure that if you need some sort of certification or something to level up or go to the next level to be able to do that. You were very hurt and they hurt your heart. You might be dealing with a water sign, okay? But there will be some balance to this non-commitment that you did not receive, all right? Things will be very much exposed and enlightened and you're gonna leave this pain behind and this betrayal. You're gonna put up boundaries. You might be also going through a separation or a divorce, all right? and you're gonna start sleeping better, all right? Yeah, you can see things clearly now, and um, and you're gonna be single, or this person's gonna be single, but there's gonna be collaboration, or you're gonna stand your ground uh, with whatever it is that was a no-win situation. So hope this helped, Leo. Love and light.